So the leader of the Oath Keepers, you know, y'all you, remember the, the the Oath Keepers, right? All right. Uh, this was this uh, uh, group that uh, former President Biden told to, you know, stand, stand back and stand by. The Oath Keepers founder, Stuart Rhodes, sentenced to 18 years for a seditious conspiracy in the January 6th attack. I don't know. That's a lot of time. That That is a lot of time. Uh, of course, he is hoping and praying that, that uh, Trump is reelected so he could uh, get his pardon. Of course, uh, you know, anytime that, that Trump says something, uh, you got to take that with the grain because you just don't know. You just you just don't know. Uh, but this oath keeper, Stuart Rose, he is is uh, uh, I don't know. He's hoping that former president lives up to what he said because it's not if it's not for Trump, then maybe the oath keepers are are, are not there, right? <laughs> maybe I don't know. Uh, but he, he's going to, Stuart Rose, that is, is going to have plenty of time to think about this after uh, being sentenced. So seditious conspiracy, that is a, that's a major charge. And that, that is not anything to sneeze at. That is a major charge. And it is warranted. This extremist group founded by Stuart Rhodes sentenced to 18 years in prison, he orchestrated a weeks-long plot that ultimately had his followers attacking the U.S. Capitol. Why did they do this? It was an attempt to keep President Joe Biden out of the White House after he defeated Donald Trump in the 2020 election. And you often will hear Folks on the right, conservatives, Republicans, uh, you've heard Trump do it. I've heard DeSantis do it. Many others. Try to equate the Black Lives Matter BLM movement and the Oath Keepers. Try to make like there's some kind of parallel. Black Lives Matter never stormed the Capitol. Because they would have been shot. They never stormed the Capitol. So they, they try to draw this parallel between Black Lives Matter folks being upset at the, the murder of George Floyd. And uh, ironically, we're at the, the three-year anniversary. Goodness. Anyway, you have you, you have them trying to draw that parallel, that parallel, that what about is they did what about this? It's not the same. It's not the same. Stuart Rhodes, 58 years old. <coughs> the first person convicted of seditious conspiracy in the January 6, 2021 attack. He received his punishment. His sentence is the longest handed down so far in the hundreds of capital rider cases it's definitely another milestone for the justice department this uh investigation this is just january 6th investigation has been a massive one now it has led to seditious conspiracy convictions against the top leaders of two far-right extremist groups these groups authorities say came to washington prepared to fight, came there prepared to attempt to illegally keep President Donald Trump in power at all costs. Black Lives Matter never did anything like that. The Justice Department, thankfully, is continuing to hold folks accountable those criminally responsible for the January 6th attack on this democracy. 
without Donald Trump, there would never have been an attack. So we can hold folks accountable who are further down. I agree with that. But let's not forget. Let's not forget Donald Trump. Because he is the reason that they are all there. Do not buy into the lie that Stuart Rhodes or any of these other Trump flunkies are political prisoners. They're not political prisoners. The judge said that, but you know, uh, Rhodes tried to say that he's a political prisoner and uh, like President Trump, my only crime is opposing those who are destroying our country, right? He he tried to have his <laughs> he tried to have his moment, right? Um, but the judge fired back that Rhodes was not prosecuted for his political beliefs. There are plenty of, of people who disagree with whoever. He wasn't arrested and and prosecuted because he is a Republican. Or he voted for Republicans. He wasn't prosecuted for his political beliefs. That's a lie. That's not why. That's not why he was prosecuted. He was prosecuted because he committed offenses. He committed offenses against this democracy. And that's why. Um, and so he has gotten the the biggest sentence thus far. I think that there will be more. Um, earlier today, Jessica Watkins was sentenced to eight and a half years in federal prison in the Oath Keepers case. Now, unlike Stuart Rhodes and Kelly Meggs, she was not convicted of seditious conspiracy. And the judge said that the um, trans military veteran had a compelling background. Um, there is this also uh, uh, remorse expressed. My actions and my behaviors that fateful day were wrong, as I now understand criminal. Jessica Watkins said, violence is never the answer. The uh, self-proclaimed idiot oath keeper sentenced to eight and a half years. Um, Jessica Watkins, a transgender military veteran, admitted to joining and pushing officers inside the Capitol on uh, January 6th. So, uh, you know, I mean, that's that's what happens when you commit crimes. That's what happens. Uh, thankfully, Jessica understands that it was criminal activity, understands that and has expressed remorse. So they're going to look they're going to they're look at that particular case different as they should. 